Maximus analysis here for May 16th, 2016. And the ES, we have a bullish engulfing bar in the middle of CHOP. So we again have to really see what's going on here. See them get back above this 2080 area with some significant type of movements. Okay, we still have the lower highs in place, but we did have a good turnaround at a key level. Uh, again, we, if you look at my Twitter feed, you'll see levels that I post every day. And one of the levels that I posted today was the 2036.75 area. And when they opened up Sunday, gap to that, and it went all the way up. Now, we are going to continue to watch the higher levels that I have here, which are 2070, 75, and 2082. Again, same type of levels we've been talking about for a long time, but I am willing to wait and uh, hear me out. We are in CHOP. I don't know where we're going to go. Um, a low high could really break this thing very quick, very quickly. And I'm not saying that it's going to go back to all time lows, but I'm willing to wait until we get to around th Thursday or Friday to kind of see where we close because it can be a whippy puppy. And right now I'm just kind of like, you know what? I'll wait, keep my powder dry a little bit versus starting to initiate some type of positions because I just don't know where it's going. Uh, again, we've you know, whipped around a lot. And if you want to do something, go to the higher time frame. And here's the weekly. And really just saying at the end of the day, I am willing to wait a little bit because again, this can engulf this bar and then that'll be good, you know, but I'm willing to wait because again, they break below this 2026 area and it might seem very far, but it's not as of what less than 24 hours ago, it was, uh, at 2036. So 2026 is the monthly low and we'll continue to watch that as well. Um, when we go to the NQ, looking at the daily time frame, one of the weaker ones here, just because again, great candle for this holding again support. Um, just the lower highs make it the weaker out of everybody due to, we don't want to just look at a couple candles. We want to look at the entire price action. So them coming up to this key critical level with some type of you know, fading a volume in a very bad way. Um, you know, again, it, it could get up to the 4456 level. But uh, again, like I said, it, it's just one of the weaker ones because again, it's under the 200 day moving average, but also it has a significant lower high versus what we just previously saw. The YM, we see that it's back above. I'm holding this level right here. Uh, so this downtrend line we've drew uh, here and uh, it testing it and see if it could pop back up again. It will pop back up into this 18,000 level and we want to see some, you know, it has some really good volume today. We just want to see a continuation of it. And again, being in some type of chop, you're just willing to wait it out because a lot of people are looking at this as like a head and shoulders pattern. I'm looking at it just saying, listen, you know, it's coming back to these critical levels here and we haven't taken out a high here and we just have to keep a, a certain amount of flexibility when we look at these markets. Crude, big day today, uh, continued above that 46.12 uh, 46 level that you see above here. Now, Here's the thing is that I want to make sure I look at the higher time frame and say, okay, what are we getting into? And if you guys look here, you can see, uh, again, they look like they could have a, a clear path to 50. Again, all I want is all week for them to stay above 46, 47. Okay, that's all I want all week. It's a lot to ask for crude. Again, it's an interdrain monster, but again, we will continue looking at this trend and uh, keep, you know, again, looking at it. But again, it, I want it to stay above that in a major way all week. Big news today was actually Apple. Again, the news of Warren Buffett uh, disclosing or being able to disclose his $1 billion stake in this company gave it an overnight gap. But let me tell you something. Warren Buffett's old ass can get shorted into as well. Um, he's right at the 200 day moving average. So again, I want to see how this one pops up. Again, he's looking at value. I'm looking at the trade and if it could pop up to this region here and the volume really wanes off, that's another lower high that I would short into, definitely no doubt about it. So again, I took my position off completely. I didn't know this was happening. I won't be one of those gurus that say I knew some. I just knew that it was a little long in the tooth and I was short from before earnings. So I kind of was like, you know what, let me get out. Um, another one that again, didn't look that good today, but, uh, we'll continue to watch is Tesla out of all this great news today, a great movement within the stocks, 
uh, but in the indexes, Tesla just was sideways. It was up 68 cents, so that's not really saying a lot. And if it breaks this 203.62 level and closes a couple times below that, I definitely could see it get into that at least that 190 area. And, and again, don't let it really start, you know, getting really bad here. But uh, again, these are levels and these are support levels that he needs to hold. And we've shown these for a long time, and you can kind of see where these levels have been in place in the past and I'll use the weekly just to kind of clarify things a little bit but you can see that these levels have been held before but they need to really hold and this lower high isn't really saying that much and if it breaks above and still gives another low high with weak volume again we'll, we'll continue to look at the short side for this one but for a day so strong I was expecting a little bit more but maybe I'm expecting too much so last but not least we will look at MGT capital low budget name big movement in regards to percentages so I wanted to give you guys some levels and I want you to watch this volume very very uh, uh, carefully again you don't know I, I would have to go back and look because again this this has had volume you know it had no volume for a long time and this is some real serious volume that came in but a lot of people might look to try and look how big this this uh, volume is compared to what was going on and this is another reason why you don't um, you don't uh, average into to something. You can see it's a 30 cent stock at one point that was one one time 160 bucks. Now, some people say the longer the base, the further it can go into space. So we need to see if it's going to go further into space. It needs to clear the 416, 360. Write these down: 416, 366, and stay above the 277 level. And we will continue to watch this one and see if it's it just a dead cat bounce on some pump and dump penny stock guy or it's going to have some legitimate legs to it. So we'll continue to watch that and uh, take care.